Welcome to the video. <laughs> Am I not supposed to scratch myself on camera? It's not polite, I've been told. Ah, uh, well, alright. Howdy! My name is Nonat, and this sure is a weird camera angle, because we're going stir-crazy in a hotel room. We so, sure are. So I decided, you know what would be fun? Let's see how much my girlfriend knows about Pathfinder. This is Mora, my girlfriend. Yeah. She's not fake. I'm not. I'm not even from Canada. <laughs> so I have 20 questions here. You're all free to play along at home. Uh, these are all going to be true or false questions. Now, my girlfriend does play Pathfinder. She has been in both campaigns that I've been a part of, but she doesn't study it at length like I do. I do not study <laughs> No, I fly by the seat of my pants. I enjoy the... Uh... The improvisational aspect of it, um, and uh, I like math. I'm good at math, but uh, I feel like, yeah, there's a lot going on that I don't know. <laughs> so to make this even more interesting, along with the 20 questions, uh, we're going to turn into a sort of a drinking game. Feel free to play along at home if you're of age and you want to. Uh, I have delicious margarita in my glass, or plastic solo cup. And I have sherry, which I'm pretty sure is just cooking sherry. It's not... Super nice, Sherry. But I've been watching a lot of Frasier, so... Every time she gets a question right, I'm going to take a drink. But every time she gets one wrong, she's going to take a drink. So pick a side, grab a drink, or just drink after every question. Because that sounds like the most fun. Sure, why not? But uh, for the sake of time, let's go ahead and just jump right into this. Love it. So these... We'll roughly get go from easy to hard. They're more so in sections oh, based you didn't on. Tell the... me that. No, I didn't tell her anything about this. I just told her <laughs> this questions. Uh, so we're just gonna go with it. Starting off, mm -hmm. true or false? The swashbuckler is one of the twelve core classes. I'm gonna say that is false. She's right, ladies and gentlemen. The swashbuckler was added in the APG, one of the APG's four classes. I remember because I was really excited that they were adding it because I do want to play one. I have not played one yet. They're fun. They're really, really fun. A nice way to combine role play into combat. Woo! Moving on. True or false? All rangers get animal companions. False. You're trying to trick me because they're not always animals. You're right, but for the wrong reason. <laughs> it's false because rangers have to take a feet to get an animal companion. <laughs> but I mean, I, I also like... <laughs> Strap in, folks. There's 18 more. Get excited. True or false? Druids are trained with simple weapons. True. She's on a roll, ladies and gentlemen. <gasps> I play a druid in D&D &D and it crossed over. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good. Draw on that D&D &D knowledge. That won't get you far in this. Shout out to my Wednesday night people. True. Or false. Bards are expert in reflex saves. Ooh. Ooh. Ah. Uh, we're going to say false. But I feel like there'd be a fee for it. I expect that one to get you. It is false. Yes! As much as people think of bards as fanatical performers, they are only trained in reflex saves at level one. Singers don't always have good reflexes, folks. I'm a good example of that. <laughs> True or false? Mm -hmm. At level two, sorcerers get their signature spells. Gosh darn it, you're using my... <laughs> She's playing <laughs> one in our campaign right now, but me. we're level five or six now. Say it again. At level two, mm -hmm. sorcerers get their signature spells feature. True. It is false, because they get that feature at level three. Ah! tricked me because you know i have it and i didn't know which time i got it okay yep yeah. cool i get to take a break <laughs> so i've already made a dent in that true or false champions are trained in martial weapons i'm gonna say true it is true you're right Excellent. As much as we make fun of champions, it's fun to think that they might only walk around with a club every now and again, but they do know how to use a great sword. They sure do. Oh, True boy. or mm -hmm. false? Goblins have the highest potential hit points. Oh, I'm going to say true to that one. You would be right. Because at level, it's either 13 or 17, I forget right now, they get the 
unbreakable goblin ancestry feat. Unbreakable? Unbreakable. Yep. You need to take That's the un- you need to take the unbreakable goblin feat first, and then at a higher level you can oh. take unbreakable, which increases your ancestry hit points to twenty. That's twice as many as an orc. That's pretty fantastic. They're wily little guys. I love. I mean, I hate goblins, but I love goblins. No, I, don't, I really love. Goblins. I don't find. I don't get the hype, but I do appreciate them for what they are. They're like elves. They're like equal to elves for me. I mean, same. But I love both of those. So mm. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Let's get a, let's get a little trickier, shall we? All right. True or false? A monk with a shield can enter crane stance. I'm going to say false because I do yoga and I feel like that would be really difficult. Well, you would be wrong because a monk with a shield can enter crane stance. Would you like to model crane stance? I would stance not. For thank me. you. The only requirement for crane stance is that you are unarmored and shield does not count as armor. I really want to see someone do do yoga with a shield yeah that'd be I great would love to see it. i want to see combat yoga. i want to see combat yoga i mean i sim- i think that's just capoeira i think you're right <laughs> 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 true or false religion the skill mm-hmm. can be used to identify magic items oh wow that's a tricky question uh, I can tell by your eyebrow. Your eyebrow tells me if it's tricky or not. Most um, of them from here on are tricky. Excellent. I am going to say that that is true, that religion can help identify a magic item. You would be right. And I would hope you'd be right, because in the last set, or sorry, two <laughs> sessions ago in our campaign, hmm. my fighter oracle identified an item with religion. <laughs> And you were there. Yes, but we haven't played in two weeks, and it makes. I'd have to bring that up. I spilled. I dribbled. Oh, my <laughs> shirt. I'm so beautiful. I need a bib. <laughs> <laughs> True <clears throat> or false? The setting for Pathfinder Second Edition is the Age of Ill Omens. Oh, you know I don't know any of this. Uh, I'm gonna say true. You'd be wrong, because it's the age of lost omens. I'm a sneaky son All right, I think that's about halfway. All right. So we're going, we're doing good, we're feeling good. Take your intermission now. Mm-hmm. You yeah, get to. some water if you need to, if you're already smacked <laughs> after four <Yes>. minutes. <laughs> that's just because I drank half a bottle of margarita before this. That is nothing <laughs> to do. True or false, good luck. The first monster in the bestiary... Is the Arbiter. I'm going to say false. I'm going to say true. (gasps) It is. It is under the Aeons subset, and they're categorized by subset, so the Aeons appear first, and the first Aeon is the Arbiter. I was banking on there being an (laughs) Ardvark. A-A-R-D-V-E-R-K. I don't think that would be in the beast here. It's a beast, isn't it? By the way, you don't drink. I got that wrong. Don't do that. I'm not. I'm just... Oh, yeah. <laughs> I just like to hold the drink. It makes me feel more like a host. <laughs> yeah, but you don't have a mug with your face on it. The first person to make an aardvark <clears throat> stat block and share it adding me on Twitter, I will retweet the crap out of that. Mm-hmm. All right, let's follow up that question. True or false? The Arbiter is immune to poison. It's true, because the Arbiter is basically a robot. Did I know that? (laughs) No, you've never encountered this monster in your life. You don't know that! (laughs) I've been in every game of Pathfinder you've ever played! Every game of Pathfinder 2. 2E, yeah. Yeah. That's fair, that's fair. I've played a lot. The Arbiters were probably in first edition, but you're still wrong. I'm (laughs) wondering. Good for the rules. True or false? The Manticore Mm -hmm. can attack... By shooting its claws at adversaries. Like out of its paws? <laughs> yes! <laughs> Throwing its claws at people. I'm gonna... Sure, yeah, true, why not? Cool drink, it's false. 
The manticore attacks by shooting its back spikes at people. Oh. Actually, I think it's out of its tail. It shoots spikes at people, but not its claws. Pixar got that wrong. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> they didn't even have back spikes in Pixar. In what movie? Onward. Oh, that was the bar lady, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, she was Mandagore. Yeah, she never threw any spikes. That's like their defining thing. Mm. Aside from their, like, lion head, I think. Like, their big thing is they shoot spikes. They're like three different animals. Yeah. They're... No, that's a chimera. <laughs> or actually, maybe Mandagore. No, but too. I think Mandagore are as well. They're just three, not the same as Yeah, they're different. Yeah. Chimeras are actually more than three animals. And depending. Well, they usually have a lion, snake tail, I think a goat head, a lion head as well. Uh, goat. Is, this, is it also snake head? It's there. There. Well, the snake head is the tail. <clears throat> this could be scorpion too. There are there are different versions. Yeah, that's of, fair. It depends on the source material. Yeah. All right. All right. But you were wrong, so that so makes I'm, me feel better. I think I already drank, but I don't want to drink again. Do it. It's <laughs> I told you these get harder. Yeah. True or false? A mimic attacks by biting and dealing piercing damage. I'm gonna say yeah. True. I think it can. Cool. You're wrong. Why am I wrong? Because a mimic. In Pathfinder 2e is a little bit different and doesn't attack by biting. It shoots out gooey pseudopods and deals bludgeoning damage. Say pseudopod. Again. Pseudopod. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it's weird. I didn't expect it either when I used a mimic, but yeah, they attack by doing bludgeoning damage. That's terrifying. Mm-hmm. True or false? Mm-hmm. The dueling cape is a two-handed weapon. False. You are correct. Ayo. The dueling cape is worn, but it is only needed one hand to swishy swat. That's what it. I was picturing, yeah. Mm-hmm. Just... True or false? A wooden shield gives the same armor class bonus as a steel shield. I'm going to say true. I feel like those are both. Yeah. I hope the mic could hear that. Uh, I'm going to say true. Well, you would be correct. I thought that one would trick you, but maybe you're getting on to my tricky tactics. Yes, a wooden shield and a steel shield give the exact same armor class. A steel shield just has higher durability. Mm-hmm. I know I know things about weapons. <laughs> All right. Well, <laughs> and shields. <laughs> let's get away. <laughs> that whole genre of All right. Well, let's talk about, uh, we talked about weapons, we talked about shields, yeah. let's talk about mm-hmm. armor. Let's show. True or false? Mm-hmm. It takes 10 minutes to don and doff medium armor. I love the word doff. It's a great word that's not used enough. It's really not. Um, we're going to say that that seems like it is a true thing. Well, we are going to say that you are going to take a drink. Because <laughs> How long it does it take? Five minutes. Okay, that's, yeah. I, I actually, funny reasonable. thing about writing this question, I originally thought it was ten minutes, so I wrote it as five minutes, and then I double-checked to be sure. And it was actually five minutes, so I made the question ten minutes to make sure it was false. Quick change. No. Oh. Though there are feats you can get to reduce that time. You have to be, like, really roleplay heavy to make use of those or super situational. But I think there is a feat that reduces it from five minutes to one minute. <laughs> wow. Yeah, yeah, that's like a... Yeah, that's... yeah. We have three questions left. I kind of wish I had more because this is actually really fun. This is really... We could do a part two. We could do a part two. Hey, if you want to see a part two, like the video, leave a comment. The comment can just say part two. That's all it has to say. And like every other comment that says part two. That'll help us know. Question time. Also subscribe. Do that. True or false? The adventurer's pack contains a mug. I'm going to say false. You'd be right. <laughs> uh, it comes with a bedroll, chalk, flint and steel, a water skin, yeah, a bunch I, of other I stuff. Yeah, I knew a water skin. But no mug. Yeah, well, because a mug is going to break. They don't have yetis. <laughs> you mean like the, the, the water bottle yeti? I do mean like, yeah. It's just because we were just watching Supermarket Sweep. <laughs> we were watching Supermarket Sweep. But also, yeah, it's not like it's a, it's a ceramic mug would break. I mean, unless you want to break your mug and then, like, use it as a weapon. I mean, like, you're assuming ceramic. What other mug are you going to get? I don't know, cow skin. <laughs> cow skin mug! <laughs> oh, boy. All right. <clears throat> <clears throat> True or false? Centaurs speak sylvan. Uh, I'm going to say True. 
And side note, I'm really distracted right now because there was a uh, a meme on Facebook that I saw today that was uh, asked how centaurs get pregnant. Like, where do they get pregnant? Oh, it's like the pants meme. Yeah, it's If very... centaurs wore pants, would it be like this or like this? Yeah, it's very confusing. I'd rather you not proceed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not But you to. are correct. But yes. <laughs> centaurs do speak sylvan. I didn't know this until making this list, but apparently centaurs are considered fey creatures. I uh, recently, I believe it was for Halloween, played a centaur. and Oh, you played centaur in that game? I did. Nice, because you did the, the super crazy kill everyone dungeon, right? I did. Mm-hmm. Yes. Nice. Did you survive? I did survive. Good on it. Thank you, Brittany. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> the final question. Are you ready? Mm-hmm. I mean, we could reflect on all the things we've learned today. I can go back and go through all the questions again. <laughs> I, w- I would rather, rather than have a true or false question for the last one, I would rather have a false or true question. False or true? Okay, mm-hmm. I can make that happen. Okay, great. <clears throat> false or true? Mm-hmm. Jason Kalman is the creator of Pathfinder. How dare you do these things to me? If you get this wrong, he's going to be so insulted. When we meet Jason at a con, what are you going to do if you get this wrong? I'm going to say hi, are you Gary Gygax? (laughs) (laughs) I hope you know I'm posting this to Twitter tonight and tagging him. I'm going to say true. this pun and i'm glad i can make it work it's not jason cowman it's jason bowman (laughs) (laughs) oh boy well that was a great note to end on i've killed no nets uh successfully i think i i think you got more than half yeah i think i only got like four times i I drank a lot i took big gulps (laughs) <laughs> Thankfully, not the big gulp because that's oh, like forty eight ounces. Can I get a big gulp of margarita? <laughs> no. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for chilling out. I don't know how long this video ended up being. It's probably only going to be like ten minutes long, but I think it's going to be fun nonetheless. I think it's worth it, and I really hope you vote for uh, part two. I would love to do a part two. This would be a ton of fun. I would <clears> probably <throat> get more questions and start soberer, and I don't know, <laughs> maybe even mix up some non true or false in there yeah. on ones that you might actually have a chance on. You know. So if I just said, if I just said, like, who's the creator of Pathfinder, you know, that's not fair. Gary Gygax. <laughs> He's going to hate you. I'm so and sorry. like vicariously so hate sorry. me too. <laughs> I feel like he probably gets that all the time. Just, so sure you're like the Gary Gygax of Pathfinder. Oh Lord, Jason, I respect you immensely. I also respect you immensely. <laughs> Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Again, if you want to see a part two, like the video, subscribe, and leave a comment saying part two. The more comments I get that say part two, the more likely there will be a part two. So thank you everybody so much for watching. There are links in the description to my Patreon, my Twitter, my Discord, my coffee. Uh, I'll put my patrons like right here in the middle because I don't get a chance to do this very often. So thanks patrons, you guys are awesome. And I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day. And until next time, no, not once.